we just got a no game plan at all there's absolutely nothing not a single player today i don't think actually played really well all right so the time is currently 20 past seven in the morning 27 20 a.m and i'm on my way to get a coach to crystal palace away obviously i didn't go to bournemouth away a few weeks ago so it's the first away game of the season for me and to say i'm excited is an absolute understatement the away days are back no trains today which is why we're up so early to go get the coach to palace but i'm so excited let's just see what happens we've got the cp on got the pazels the puma gazelles yeah come on the villa <laughs> Right, we are in South London now, just at a pub before the game. I'm just going in to get a quick domino. I'm absolutely starving. Obviously, very early start. But we're excited for the game. Come on, the villa. We've got Kyle here today. Palace away. What's going to happen? Um, I think it'll be a 1-1 draw. I oh. think um, Danny needs a score. A last minute, a last minute goal. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Um, and how do you think the season's going to go overall? I think we'll be all right. I think we'll finish 11th. 11th? Looking, looking brilliant. So. And are you happy with Gerard? Obviously, he's doing a bit, getting a bit of stick online at the minute, but are you happy with him? Um, you've got to give him till about November, see where it is, and then you can make a decision from there. Fair enough, and uh, up the villa. Up the villa. Are three villa fans here today, what's going to happen? Uh, we're going to win 3 1. 3 1. Bailey and Mings. Mings, yeah, what do you think? 2 1 up the boys! Ah! What's the score going to be? Score. 5 0 villa. 5 0 villa, up the villa. in 2-1 two, two goals two goals two four goals to concede just completely unmarked in the box it's another set piece 2-1 25 minutes in we haven't played great to be honest apart from our goal so let's keep it going come on Villa Absolute disaster to be honest. We, defensively and in midfield, we had absolutely nothing. We won nothing in midfield. Defensively, we look shaky. Going forward, we don't look too creative either. I'm not going to lie, it's not been a great first half. So let's hope it's better in the second half. And let's hope we have some goals. Come on, Come on kids.
going to the screen for a penalty for Palace. It must be as a penalty. I don't know what happened, we can't see, but... It's a penalty to Palace. The handball given. Zaha on the pen. Come on, Emmy! Come on, Emmy! Double and it's 2-1, probably deserve from Palace, we need to get into the game now, we've been poor today, we've been really poor. The sums have been terrible, we have been honestly dreadful. Full time, Villa 1, Palace 3 and oh, it's just an absolute, it's just a shambles, it's just classic Villa in it. You build your whole weekend around this game, you build your whole day around the game and then we play like that. We're absolutely terrible. Fair play to Palace. They completely dominated the game, completely. Midfield, defence, attack, they were all over us. And we just got a no game plan at all. There was absolutely nothing. Not a single player today, I don't think, actually played really well and gave you that all. And I think we were absolutely crap. I honestly don't know what to say that's positive. I mean, Watkins' goal was well taken, but that's about it. John McGinn, Ramsey, Dunye, Mings, oh, everyone was just terrible. We've got no game plan. I mean, Gerard is going to have to start answering questions because, honestly, seriously, guys, I don't know what happened. Anyway, Palace, Palace, congrats, I guess, but it really wasn't that hard to beat us. So if you guys did enjoy, please like the video because, again, it's just another weekend wasted, just classic Villa. We go again against, what, West Ham, Arsenal and Leicester. Great, absolutely great. So see you guys then. Up the Villa, I guess, and... Wow, subscribe.